Hey Libra, this is going to be your love reading for September 2018. If you want a private reading, all that information is in the description box below and you can also follow me on Facebook, Awakened Soul Tarot. That will be posted in the description box. So I want to start off with a guidance session like we did for your August 2018 love reading. So if you'd like, you can just relax, take a deep breath and focus on the guidance you need to receive involving your love life. Set positive intentions to receive the guidance that you need. September. Look for a sign. So pay attention to the signs going on around you. Whether it's repeating numbers, if you're seeing animals like dragonflies, birds, all those different types of things. The animals that cross your path when you're having thoughts about your love life. Look up the symbolism. Your angels have a very special and specific answer to your question. You can expect to see signs right away that will have deep meaning to you. Many people see white feathers to indicate that their angels are with them, or they may smell scents from their childhood that they connect with a family member. Signs require focused attention, so be awake to the possibilities. Don't mistake synchronistic events for mere coincidences at this time. They are a message designed for you. So when you're having thoughts about your love situation or that person and a specific animal crosses your path, a dragonfly lands on you, that's a symbolism of transformation. Pay attention to all those things, especially repeating numbers. All right, let's find out what's going on with my Libras, September 2018. What do Libras need to hear, please? What is the most important message of this spread for Libras? All right, Libras, the most important message, the Ace of Wands. So this is the start of a new journey. This could be a new project involving work, yes, and that affects your love life, okay? It could be something that is successful, especially with the Page of Pentacles. With the Ace of Wands, it's a lot about passion. It's about starting a new project, a new situation with a person, a new relationship. So the start of something new, the spark of something new. So one thing at a time now, we have the Page of Pentacles, all right? So some kind of an offer, some kind of news coming in. Now with this Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Five of Wands, there may be some kind of offer here. You could be receiving a work offer or starting a new situation with work. That could be affecting your love life. It could bring some kind of quarrels in. You know, if that's happening, maybe you're moving to a higher position at work, working more hours, things like that. That's something to 
um, pay attention to. Maybe some of you have been feeling financially unstable and that's been affecting your love life and causing um, you know, fights, causing some inner battles, outer battles. But with the Ace of Cups, this is saying that there is going to be happiness coming in. Okay, with the aces, it is something new. You have two aces here. So emotions, watery, deep feelings, passion, something new. Again, with the five of wands, you may be facing some bumps in the road. So, you know, during that time, again, like the guidance you received, pay attention to the signs going on. September, there are some oppositions. So you may be facing some of those things, a few bumps in the road, but they are just bumps, okay? Some of you may be going through a divorce situation. There's the King of Swords, which is like the lawyer card, Justice, and the Six of Pentacles. And with the Page of Pentacles here, it could, could be some kind of new offer, okay? This Ace of Cups, maybe it's news from your attorney or your lawyer. With the Ace of Cups, this could be making you happy, okay? Some kind of decision that's coming in, working in your favor with the King of Swords. King of Swords is an air sign like you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Along with the Eight of Pentacles, again, this could be involving a work situation, a money situation. You could be receiving a work promotion, something that's helping your relationship, helping you know with the money and the finances. Justice is your card, so things balancing out as well. So if you have been dealing with um, you know, some tough times in your relationship that could also be a renewal and just a few bumps along the way, but definitely a renewal here. And with the six of pentacles, the two of wands, that's talking about getting a gift, a balance of giving and receiving. So reciprocity could be dealing with emotions. And this is also talking about a new journey. So I have a feeling a lot of you are starting over new and fresh. What is this page of pentacles for Libra, please? Nine of Wands. So some of you may be feeling a little bit afraid. There could be somebody new coming in. Page of Pentacles can be Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So if that's a new offer coming in, maybe you were hurt in the past with the Five of Pentacles. Maybe you're afraid to give it another go if there is somebody coming back from the past. Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands. So some of you may just have that wounded warrior energy, maybe a little bit stuck in what happened in the past, but there's an offer coming and that's bringing you happiness. Okay, six of wands is like getting through the challenges. It wasn't easy. The five of wands is here before that, but the six of wands is talking about victory, but it's triumph after dealing with the trials. So, you know, end game is positivity and winning, but some of you I feel definitely have to get through some challenges this month. Let's clarify that Ace of Cups energy. All right, so yeah, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a third party situation. That may be coming to an end. Possibly a decision being made about one of the parties, if that is a third party thing. Maybe some of you have been in a marriage for a while, have been feeling really left out in the cold. Somebody else came in and, you know, gave you that spark. Maybe you're meeting somebody new. Let's clarify the justice card for Libra, please. Somebody who gives you the balance that you need. Two of Wands and the Moon. Again, you have the Two of Wands. So this is like the start of something new. Having the world in your hands, having a new opportunity. Some of you leaving the past behind and moving forward. If you are getting a divorce or leaving a situation, starting fresh, maybe with somebody new, or some of you are just starting fresh all together, you know, by yourself. But with the moon here, there are some fears in this. And of course, that's normal to be afraid, you know, when you're starting a new chapter in your life. But this is saying, you know, don't be afraid. Everything happens for a reason. And you need to definitely pay attention to the signs. The moon talks about using your intuition as well. So really pay attention to um, your intuition, your feelings, the signs that you're getting. All right, let's get some love guidance for Libras. What do Libras need to hear, please? So 
So there could definitely be some challenges this month, but challenges leading to happiness once you get past those bumps in the road. Have faith. Sagittarius got the same card. Trust your faith in this situation. Romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. So maybe some of you need more of that or the other person needs more of that. That Six of Pentacles is talking about the balance, especially next to the Justice card. So really giving each other, you know, balance, both giving love, both giving affection, all those things that you crave and need. If you were not getting that before, there could be somebody new that is giving that to you. And for some of you, it may be time to move on. All right, my Libras, I hope you have an amazing September. Take care.